Hey guys, I've recently been getting an itch, an itch that I need to scratch, and it is called distro hopping. I'm ready to make a switch on my main production machine. I am ready to go ahead and wipe out Manjaro, which I've been running for a few months now. Been running for three months on my main production machine here. I installed the Manjaro KDE edition about three months ago, and before I installed it, on physical hardware, I ran the Manjaro KDE edition in a virtual machine for about three months. I actually lived in that virtual machine a little while, even made some videos in that virtual machine. So I've been using Manjaro for quite a quite a bit now, you know, a few months. I'm ready to move on to something else on my main production machine. I also have a laptop that I'm ready to distro hop on, so I'm going to install two new distros, one on my main production machine and one on, on my laptop, uh, mainly to test out some distros on physical hardware. You guys know uh, my uh, video reviews. They're almost always done in VMs because it's easier to install and review these things in virtual machines. Uh, it's a lot easier to record these reviews doing it in a virtual machine than doing it on physical hardware. That's why I do that. But other than just, you know, making videos, you know, I actually want to install some stuff on physical hardware to let you guys know, hey, what works, what doesn't. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and wipe out Manjaro on my main production machine and install something else. I'm going to go ahead and wipe out uh, the Ubuntu LTS off my laptop that I use for work sometimes. I'm going to install something else on it. For the laptop, I think I'm going to go ahead and just install Solus. I'm going to install Solus Budgie on the laptop. I think I've, I've made that decision because I really, really like the Budgie desktop environment. And I really would like to install it on my main production machine. But my main production machine is a triple monitor system. I have three 24-inch monitors. And to be honest, the Budgie desktop environment is not that great on a multi-monitor system. But for a laptop, for a small screen, the Budgie desktop environment I think would be perfect. I think I think it makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and install Solus Budgie on my laptop. So uh, plus I get to keep up with some of the development around Solus. Uh, right now, Solus is kind of the new hotness. Everybody is switching over to Solus. Uh, it seems to be like where all the cool kids are going now, you know, back in the day. You know, all the cool kids were running Arch Linux now. Everybody is really on the Solus train. And you know what? I want to get on it, at least on one of my machines, too. So I'm going to install it on a laptop. That way I can follow along with some of the uh, the development with Solus. For my main production machine, I'm really not sure what I want to do on that. I've, I've got to put some thought into that. And I would love to hear some feedback from the viewers on what you think maybe I should go with. Now, spending a few months in Manjaro, uh, I'm not sure if I want to do another Arch-based distro or move on to something else. If I do another Arch-based distro, though, one that I would strongly consider is Arco Linux, formerly Arch Merge. I really, really like what Eric Dubois is doing with that particular Linux distro, especially me being a minimalist. You know, I like minimal window managers like open box and awesome and xmonad and that sort of thing and arco linux is perfect for that uh, the way he's got his github repos set up uh, to install a lot of minimal window managers it makes a lot of sense so if i do stick to an arch based distro probably the one that i would consider is arco linux but you you guys know it, in my heart i'm really a debian guy and i noticed that seduction recently released some new snapshots. Seduction is a rolling release distro based on Debian Unstable. So that might be something I consider. They offer a variety of different desktop environments. Uh, probably if I was going to install Seduction, I would either do LXDE because it comes with the open box window manager. Actually, no, I think their version of LXDE, I think they do the XFCE window manager in their version of LXDE, but I can install open box on it. <clears throat> They also have a LXQt version, LXQt uh, version of Seduction, so I might install one of those and get me back, you know, in the Debian world where I'm kind of comfortable. But I've thought about maybe, you know, 
branching out a little bit, maybe live in a Gentoo based distro for a bit. Uh, I've never installed mainline Gentoo on any of my machines. I have installed some Gentoo based distros on physical hardware before. I've run Sebion many years back uh, for a little while. Uh, I liked Sebion. It's pretty pretty easy to use for a Gentoo based distro. But one that really keeps impressing me every time I review it on the channel is Calculate Linux. So I might install Calculate on my main production machine, see how that goes. Uh, Antix. Antix is another Debian based distro. It, it could be a nice fit for me because Antix comes with like five or six minimal window managers installed by default. It comes with Fluxbox, Joe's window manager, Ice window manager, Herbstluft window manager, uh, one or two others. So Antix is a nice distro. Uh, also, you have the option in Antix. I can run Debian stable, Debian testing, or Debian unstable in Antix. So, might be an option. Uh, another thing that could be an option is going with one of the upcoming Ubuntu flavors. The 1804 releases are right around the corner in another uh, month or so. And that might be worth checking out because, you know, millions of people are going to be running those 1804 releases. There'll be LTS releases. Might be something, I'm definitely going to review those releases on the channel anyway. Might be worth it to install one of them on my main machine. If I did that, I would probably go with Lubuntu for one of the official Ubuntu flavors because, again, I'm kind of a minimalist. I like LXDE. If I'm going to do a full desktop environment, LXDE is kind of the one I would go with. So that's an option, but I'm, I'm all ears. I'm, I'm, I'm open to other opinions too. Uh, whether it's a rolling release or whether it's a static release, um, you know, I, I'm really open to anything. I'm not really sure what I want to do on my main production machine, but you know, I've lived in Manjaro for a while and I really like it, but you know, it's just time to, to do something different. So, uh, give me some suggestions, guys. Peace.